and then threatened as they were leaving. So in addition to Sean Combs, you should know the defendants in these cases we're gonna file will include anyone, of course, who engaged in the assault or exploitation, anyone who participated in such in any way, anyone who encouraged or facilitated this conduct, anyone who was in the room and watched it happen, but made no effort to stop it, any venue or venue owner who was aware of what was going on, but failed to stop it, any individual or entity who knew about the conduct and benefited from it, but did nothing to report it or stop it, and any individual or entity who covered it up or helped cover it up. These people who know who they are should just come forward now. I would imagine as we speak here, there are a myriad of people who are very nervous. You can't hide skeletons in the closet forever. I would expect there are many people out there right now who are, who are desperately searching their memories as they delete their texts and data. Now, although these are in fact individual cases, there is a common theme, an MO, if you will. Typically the victim is lured into a situation where he or she is given a drink. Typically that drink uh, reported by these victims is apparently laced with something. Once that drink takes effect, the perpetrators perform all kinds of sexual acts on the victims, many times passing him or her around as other people watch and enjoy the show and then leave the victim ashamed, confused, injured, and wondering what happened. When the victim reaches out, he or she is told not to say anything. Sometimes there are threats of physical violence or financial repercussions or bodily harm. The claims we intend to bring will include the following, violent sexual assault or rape, sexual abuse, facilitated sex with a controlled substance, false imprisonment, compelling prostitution, sexual misconduct, dissemination of video recordings, false imprisonment, sexual abuse of minors. Given a large volume of cases and given our other docket obligations, and given the fact that we wanna be sure when we file these cases that they are fully vetted, I expect we'll start filing these cases against Sean Combs and other perpetrators within the next 30 days. Now, it's rare, you know, sexual abuse, sexual exploitation, and then threatened as they were leaving. So in